The whole approach was to try to respect the original. Everything is geared around trying to recreate that feeling from Tomb Raider 1 of exploring abandoned places, uh, ancient places, finding something secret that other people have not seen for a very, very long time. I think if people play the original, they'll feel like this is close to the original, even though if they actually went back and looked the two side by side, they'd be very, very different. And trying to get that special feeling is not just about one part of the art, it's about the whole look and feeling and it's about the palette and the tones and the lighting and the atmosphere and the sound and the way that the design is laid out. So the process was we would go through and we would make things not colorful. We would light things so that they were desaturated. When you looked at it with the desaturated lights, things looked a lot more realistic. And then we would go back at the end and add color, you know, overgrowth, flowers, and vines. We really uh, up the scale a lot. Um, that's probably been the biggest thing. Everything is more grand, more vast, just giant compared to the original. It was the introduction of the game, and I think it does a good job of getting you in the mood. You have a sense of mystery and adventure, like you don't know what's going on, you have to explore all these things. And uh, even within Peru, it changes so much. So it goes from a very snow-covered landscape to a more lush, green environment, and then into a dusky temple. In Greece in particular, uh, we went for a cool, dark, underground feeling because it's the whole fiction of that level is that it's hidden in the mountain. And then Egypt, we tried to go for the hot, glaring sun, contrasting with the coolness of uh, ancient hidden temples. A lot of areas start out very sort of murky and get bright as you go up. There's a lot of areas where we wanted things to be really mysterious, so towards the end of Egypt things get really sort of dark and mysterious and then they get bright at the end. And then Atlantis is volcano, hot, fantasy, and it's completely different to the other three settings, so it's a nice way to round off the game.